The Big Dome on the Mississippi River has hosted 25 Supercross races, a favourite stop for the riders due to the great traction on the best Midwest soil. The race in the Show Me State has shown Supercross fans some of the most memorable moments in the sport's 50 years. In 1996, Jeremy McGrath was a three-time Supercross champion and winner of the first 13 main events of the season. Leading Jeremy McGrath. But a rider who grew up in nearby Kansas would put an end to thoughts of an undefeated campaign as Jeff Emick handed McGrath his one and only defeat of the season. 11 years later, Ricky Carmichael was on the verge of retiring and only running a limited schedule. It was no surprise that RC chose St. Louis for one of his final rounds. The five-time champ would outlast his rivals to earn the 48th and final Supercross win of his illustrious career. In 2014, one of Carmichael's great rivals, James Stewart, also captured his final Supercross victory in St. Louis. Stewart flashed the speed and style that once made him the fastest man on the planet in defeating eventual champion Ryan Villapoto. St. Louis, James Stewart, career win number 50. Ken Roxon was third in that 2014 race. He would be one of the most promising Supercross talents since McGrath. However, a spate of significant injuries beginning in 2017 left fans wondering if he would ever race at an elite level again. On January 11, 2020, Ken Roxon outraced his competition right here in the Dome at America's Center and returned to the victory podium three years after his last win. 50 years of history, 50 years of heroes, 50 years of Monster Energy Supercross.